Okay, hi Virgo, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and do a general message. Let's see what the energy is like today. Now it is a general message. It may not resonate with everyone. Take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest, okay? Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thank you to those who do reach out for those. And thanks to those who donate to the channel. And to those of you who do subscribe. All right, Virgo, so we're doing a whatever comes out, okay? <laughs> I do hope that everybody is well. What do we have for Virgo here today, Spirit? Where's the energy? So give me a card for now and a card for going forward. What sign of Virgo? What's the energy like? Oh, okay, so... First card coming out here, it says a fiery climax approaches. Someone here could be dealing with an Aries, doesn't have to be. And then show me going forward. It could just mean that, you know, something may be moving quite quickly here for someone. Too many cards, thank you, Spirit. Too many, yeah, you have, you're very close to achieving your goals here and your dreams need a practical plan. What else did we have? Bring love into the situation and conclusions are within reach. Hmm. I just need one card. Going forward. Okay. So now we have at the bottom of the deck, the end of a tough cycle approaches, and then you have nothing will come of this situation. Show me what this is for my Virgos. I don't know why I'm getting for someone here, Raya. I'm just looking at this moon and I'm, it's giving me the energy. The first thing I heard was backfire. So I don't know if there is some sort of spell work or something here that is being returned here. Nothing will come of this situation, but we'll see. Um, a fiery climax approaches. What is this for the sign of Virgo? What do we have? Thank you, Spirit. Ten of Wands in the reverse. The World card. Show me more. Oh, the Nine of Swords. One more. The temperance okay you see because it, it kind of feels like with that ten of wands in the reverse like someone's carrying too much here someone's like you know the universe saying to someone hey that you need to release something okay something is too difficult or um you have the world card. It's almost like something here has come to an end, right? It's the end of a chapter. I'm hearing something about somebody having some sort of a rebirth with the temperance energy. Now, I am also hearing here, like, if someone here was trying to do some sort of spell work or manipulate a situation or whatever here, right? Someone wasn't listening to the warnings in terms of to let something go. Because someone here is a divine being with this temperance energy. Or they are very much protected by their ancestors and angels here. And it's almost like somebody doing something and they're causing themselves some sort of stress. Nine of swords. Anxiety, worry. You know, this is someone who can't sleep here. Clarify this nine of swords and the ten of wands. The ace of pentacles. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Oh, okay. Someone here is trying to stop someone's opportunities or going towards um, new opportunities or trying to stop someone's finances or, you know, mess with someone's stability here. Damn. Oh, no. I'm seeing a King. I'm seeing a King of Wands and a King of Swords here. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. What is the Ace of Coins? It's almost like someone tried to stop something for someone, but it's almost like Spirit saying, hey, that's going to go ahead regardless. 
And in fact, if anything, it may even go ahead a lot faster now. What is the Ace of Coins for the Ten of Wands in the reverse and the Nine of Swords? The Six of Cups. So this could have something to do with the past here. Oh, the Wheel of Fortune. Something coming back around to bite somebody in the butt. What is the world and the temperance? King of Pentacles in the reverse. And the tower. Ouch. Someone here is having some sort of powerful realization here. Or like I said, karma is hitting someone here for something that they did. Now, the King of Pentacles in the reverse, to me, is someone who definitely may be struggling financially. It could also be someone here who is struggling in terms of new opportunities coming towards them. It could also be someone here who is feeling ungrounded, unstable. Hmm... Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I mean, who with the Seven of Wands and the Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Someone here didn't see here, Virgos, that you are very much protected. Your finance is protected. Your legacy is protected. I'm hearing, uh-oh, you're in trouble. Show me what this is. I want to see. <laughs> Show me what this is. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, a fall from grace is what I heard. Look, at I told you it's in the reverse. Self-love, creation, intentions, all in the reverse. Whatever someone's intentions was for you. Spirit said this person bit off more than they can chew. Hmm. Yeah, look at this. Cycles and completions. I'm hearing, Mama, let me upgrade you. So, Virgos, I don't know if you've had some kind of upgrade or with this temperance out here. Or like I said, if you've had some kind of transformation. Or you just a divine energy. Show me more. Coming out sideways. The Venus offer. Now, any card that comes out sideways for me is a blockage. So I don't know who this is. I don't know if this is someone who is just mad because you're refusing their offer, because you ain't interested, because you turned them down. What is this Venus offer? For some of you, this is someone who wants to make you this offer. But yeah, I told you, you guarded. This could be someone that you have a family with. For some of you, this could even be um, a family member. For some of you, maybe even someone you have children with, married to. One more. Growth and summer. Yeah, I'm told you you had some sort of change here. Maybe there's something changed about you last year's summer here, Virgos. Yeah, and someone here is feeling guilty because they sabotage the situation here. I'm telling you, this is someone who wanted some kind of new beginning here with you. Or they're mad that they see that you are having a new beginning with the Ace of Wands energy. What signs am I seeing out here? Now, you could definitely be dealing with a... Another earth sign.
I mean, you have the Ten of Wands out here. So it could be a fire sign. It could be an air sign. We have Sagittarius. We have Scorpio and Aries. Hmm. Show me nothing will come of this situation. Why is it here for Virgos? Thank you, Spirit. The Six of Swords. <laughs> because, Virgos, you have moved to calmer waters here. Or you listen to divine guidance. You walked away from that Five of Swords energy. So you were no longer entertaining BS. You were no longer entertaining people who lie. You know, the Five of Swords is that energy of do anything, say anything. I want to get the outcome that I want, right? I don't care who I hurt in the process. It's also this energy of mind games. Show me more about the Six of Swords. Nothing will come of this situation. What is the message for Virgo? The High Priest is who listen to your intuition. And some of you are very highly intuitive. Some of you may even be psychics. But this tells me that you're very connected. This also tells me that, hey, some of my Virgos, you may even know about whoever this is or these people are. But you chose peace. You chose not to say anything. You just chose to move in silence. Yeah, the strength card with the Queen of Wands. So some of you, you saw the betrayal. <laughs> the Emperor. Some of you were dealing with someone who was controlling. What's this Emperor? Page of Wands. Or some of you just know that, you know what, you ain't going to stoop to certain levels. You have grown above and beyond some of these people. Show me more. Nothing will come of this situation for Virgo. We have a King of Cups. Seven of Wands. The Knight of Swords. Yeah, see, because I've got the Six of Swords or the Knight of Swords, to me that makes the Seven of Swords, which talks about deception, it talks about lies, it talks about cheating, somebody trying to get away with a situation in here. Now, if somebody acted out of their emotions, like I said, maybe you refused someone, maybe you left someone behind, right? Maybe they chose somebody over you and you just said, okay, cool, I'm going to move on. And they didn't expect that. Whatever it is that has made this person want to turn against you. I feel like they were acting from an emotional place. King of Cups. Now, some of you could be going towards a King of Cups. We'll clarify I really feel like this is someone who had some sort of feelings here. They may not have expressed themselves. This may be someone here that is angry that you are not communicating with them, that you don't have nothing to say, that you are being very silent here. This may be someone who wanted to get some sort of reaction out of you. I don't know if the high priestess reacts. <laughs> Clarify this Six of Swords and this King of Cups. Thank you, Spirit. What do we have here? The Eight of Coins. Uh, oh, the Four of Wands. Oh, there's someone here that admires you here, Virgos. Like I said, it could be a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio here. But it's almost like somebody admires what someone does for work. Some of you may work from home. For some of you, the Eight of Pentacles is a very skilled card. It's a master card. Oh, I don't know. For some of you, someone here may be looking at you as wifey material, husband material here. But whoever this is, they, they, they haven't said anything, okay? But I feel like they're watching you, whoever this is. So what is the High Priestess and the Knight of Swords? The Chariot. Being divinely guided. This is also you moving forward here. Show me more. 
and the Empress. King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So heavy, heavy Aries energy that I'm seeing. Queen of Wands. So it may even have been a pair that kind of, a couple that may be receiving some sort of karma here or receiving judgment for something that they did. Yeah, Ace of Swords, Queen of Swords. What is this chariot? Because, as you know, I was getting, this ain't going to be for everyone, but I feel like, I don't know if there's some kind of information coming in here about, I don't know if someone here is in trouble with the police or, um, for some of you, Virgos, I just feel like someone here is mad that you're sitting in this Empress energy, the Empress and the Temperance out here. This is Earth Angel. What is this um, chariot and the empress? Seven of cups. Going forward, for some of my Virgos, going forward, you're going to have a lot of options here. Now, there may also be an energy here of somebody being confused about what it is that you know. It's almost that energy of how do you know that? Well, well the high priest is out here. You communicate with the universe. You communicate with your ancestors and your angels. You receive those downloads. That is how. Give me some cards for this. Thank you, Spirit. Nothing will come of this situation. Who is this King of Cups? <laughs> Who is this King of Cups? I see lack and doubts. Deception and temptation, someone who is in regret about lying about something, about cheating. Oh, look at that third eye in clarity. <laughs> but it's okay because you see right through this person, Virgo. <laughs> yeah, definitely it could be someone you have a family with here. Oh, the sun card. Someone here sees your strength. They see that you've empowered yourself. Like I said, they see that you have had some sort of change and transformation. You are no longer easily manipulated, controlled. Because you have the ancestors right beside you. One more card, Spirit. Well, we have chemistry and passion. They want you to be open to some sort of opportunity or some sort of um offer that they want to make you here but like i said there's something here from the past i don't know if they wanted you lack and suffering in the past but you ain't you ain't you found yourself worth here virgos stand in that power <laughs> spirit said preach preach rising phoenix <laughs> all right so let's close out this reading. What is some of these things that they did in the past here, Spirit? That's kind of sealed the deal in terms of them ever returning for some of you. What do we have? Thank you. I told you, look at the first card out. Moon magic, backfire. It was the first thing I said when we started the video. That's what I felt. Show me more. Thank you, Spirit. What do we have? So we can end out this reading. Yeah, look at this. They broke as fuck. Karma. King of Pentacles in the reverse. So whether it's an earth sign or not, this is someone. It could be someone's husband, right? King of Pentacles. But whoever this is, they have a lack of opportunities now. It's almost like Spirit, you know, the universe has put a halt on their money. Because of whatever they tried to do to you. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn. Or just someone who's toxic. Someone who drives a blue car. Yeah, I told you something about maybe the police. You have police are watching. For some of you, the police could even be watching your twin flame. I just saw twin flame. All right, spirit, what do we have? Someone here may be into the same sex. There may be certain things that are getting exposed about whoever this is. So blue car, it says, I stalk your social media. Have no fear. Archangel Michael is here. And it says, uh-oh, 
So it's always a big problem when Archangel Michael has to step in. You have my mama don't like you. We all know that nobody cares. We have this is not time for judging. It's a time for healing. Love is the way forward. So I apologize. <laughs> a child will be born. It says destiny. I just don't feel the same anymore. Yeah, some of those, you just don't feel the same anymore. You have, I was trying to please everyone. Temptation, the devil, not today. I feel trapped. Illusion. They fear you. I've learnt my lesson, no looking back. Date me. Heard it all before. Lies. We have the Miss Seeley curse. Till you do right by me. It's that energy of everything you touch or anything you try to build. The universe is going to come in and crumble it. You have STD. Okay. You have they broke as fuck, karma. Can you forgive me? The past is on its way. All I cared about was money, so I left you. Big mistake. It took for my heart to break to see the truth. The karmic is holding me with sex and money. It says weak. Please unblock me. I'm hurting. I stayed for the children. Let's make a family. Moon magic backfire. What you're selling, I'm not buying. It's over. I don't want to be a player no more. I can't let you go. I have too many options to choose one. I'm married. I wanted to tell you, third party. I don't like the fact that you're spiritual. <laughs> Ooh, that's why someone want to come in and defend themselves. <laughs> what is no longer serving you? It says cut energetic ties and move forward, my Virgos. That is the energy that I've picked up here for you today, guys. So if this is where we part, stay safe. Love and light, Virgo.